United States Air Force recently tested the LGM 30G Minuteman III strategic nuclear weapon, an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM, that has been the backbone of U.S. nuclear forces since the Cold War. The test, conducted without a nuclear warhead, aimed to verify the weapon system's reliability and readiness in a real-world launch scenario. The missile was launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California and successfully hit its target at a test range in the Pacific Ocean, demonstrating the system's precision and stability despite its decades-old age. Preparation for testing the new LGM 30G Minuteman III nuclear weapon is a highly complex and rigorous process, involving multiple military and scientific institutions. This intercontinental ballistic missile system is part of the United States nuclear triad, and each test is conducted to ensure its reliability, accuracy, and operational readiness. Prior to the test, a technical team inspects all components of the missile, from the guidance system and the mock warhead, without a nuclear payload, to the launcher silo, to ensure they function perfectly and meet high safety standards. During the preparation phase, coordination between the U.S. Air Force, national laboratories, and regulatory agencies such as the National Nuclear Security Administration and NSA, is crucial. Computer simulations, physical inspections, and operational exercises are conducted repeatedly to simulate various scenarios, including potential technical glitches or cyber threats. The missiles are typically launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California towards simulated targets in the Pacific, such as Kwajalein Atoll, to measure trajectory accuracy and guidance system performance. These tests are not only part of defense technology development but also serve as strategic signals to other nations regarding U.S. nuclear readiness and capabilities. Even without live warheads, these tests consistently attract international attention and often elicit diplomatic reactions from rival nations. Therefore, preparations are conducted transparently to the public and the international community through official statements, although many technical aspects remain classified for national security reasons. These tests are also part of the U.S. nuclear deterrence strategy in the face of increasingly complex global geopolitical dynamics. Although the Minuteman III has been in service since the 1970s, modernization of its launch and control systems is ongoing to ensure the technology remains relevant until its successor, the Sentinel, GBSD, is fully operational in the coming decade. The Air Force emphasized that this test was not a response to any specific international conflict or tension, but rather part of a routine program to maintain the readiness of the nation's strategic defense system. The LGM 30G Minuteman III is the third generation of Minuteman Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBMs, developed by the United States. Although operational since the early 1970s, the system has undergone numerous upgrades to maintain its relevance in modern warfare. This missile has a range of over 13,000 kilometers and is capable of carrying one or multiple nuclear warheads with a MIRV, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, system, allowing a single missile to engage multiple targets simultaneously. The Minuteman III is launched from an underground silo and controlled via a heavily protected ground-based launch system. As part of the U.S. strategic nuclear arsenal, the Minuteman III serves as one of the three pillars of the nuclear triad, along with ballistic missile submarines and strategic bombers. In recent years, the missile has undergone upgrades to its navigation, flight control, and launch software to ensure its accuracy and reliability amidst advances in global defense technology. While referred to as a new nuclear weapon in the context of modern testing, the Minuteman III is actually an older system being upgraded, while its successor, the Sentinel, is still under development and is expected to replace the Minuteman III entirely by the early 2030s.